Our next set of physical pops from the Pop Digital Collection have arrived, so let's go ahead and get this one started. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on this channel and this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. Today's video, before we take a look at our next set that arrived from Pop Digital Collection, I actually want to share a box that I have been taking a very long time on opening up, but it is my very first Project Fred figure that I purchased from Funko. I always told myself if I get anything related to Project Fred, it has to be something I really enjoy, and this happens to be something I do enjoy. So, let's take a look. Now, I'm going to be honest, I already know if it's a common or chase because on the box it already says it, which is a little bit unfortunate, but either way, I am pretty excited about this because it's my first time seeing one of these in person, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now, just figuring out how to open this up. So, they definitely take really good care with shipping these. They have like these corner protecting, it's crazy. So, all right. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fresh plastic. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells really good. Let's get this open. So this is number six in the Project Fred collection. I'm trying to get it out. Oh. All right, so the box is actually not that big. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than this. I mean, it's still pretty big. It's like a 10 inch Funko Pop. Check it out though. I love Fruity Pebbles. It's actually one of my all time favorite cereals. It's pretty much Fruity Pebbles and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I also love Flintstones. Oh man, this is cool. Okay, I'm definitely happy about this. I feel like I'm gonna have to hunt down that chase later on in the future, but I actually like the common better because I prefer Fruity Pebbles over Cocoa Pebbles. So, let me get this open. It's like stuck in here. <laughs> Come on. Now the real question is, where am I gonna put this thing once I get it out? Because I, I really don't have any room left. I might have to do like a sale soon. Okay, check it out guys. Oh man, he's awesome. The box finish is really cool too. This is sweet. This is awesome. All right. Uh, how can I get it out? I want to see the actual figure. Come on, come on. It's almost there. Oh, there you go. We have it opened. Finally. All right, so we have the certificate of authenticity over here, and it is awesome. You can see that it is limited to 750 pieces out of the 700, I mean, out of the 675. This is a number I have, which shows 247. So that's pretty cool that they actually have a number for each person. So let's actually get this figure out though. Oh, that's so cool. I'm not gonna lie, price point wise, I don't know if this is actually worth the amount that it was, but I really like this. This is actually super cool. This is definitely the best Project Fred that has released in my opinion so far. I was actually really tempted for the icy one, but I'm glad I saved up for this one instead because I definitely like this one a lot more. He's actually not that big. I think it's 14 inches tall, but man, do I love this figure. I actually really like it a lot. All right, so we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and move on back to our package from Drop for Pop Digital Collectibles. So this is a first time where we actually had the option to add protectors to these figures. I don't remember if this set, you had the option to not get them without the protectors, but I know the protectors for the set were free if you decided to get them for your collection. So I did get the protectors and I just want to share with you guys how these are shipped. So you got them in a box and three per box. So same thing, they still have these sorters, but inside the sorters, they've actually upped it recently. So this is the first time with protectors. Before the protectors, they actually had like this extra padding inside, which I actually think is good enough so these are just fun i don't think i'm gonna add protectors for my orders in the future but these were free for this collection so why not right so check it out this is the first one we have inside this box it is balloon proto who is a royalty in this collection and i don't really want to share all the pops too much right now this was more of a way for you guys to see 
how they're shipped. I think it's great that they added this option for some people because I know some people have like carriers that do not handle packages well at all. But for myself, I've actually been receiving my pops pretty good condition wise. Very rarely I get them damaged. And if I do, I just reach out to drop customer care and they just help out with some replacement boxes. So for the most part, I don't think I'll get these protectors. I'm not a big fan of these stacks either way, but this is definitely a great option. And I think it's something that Funko Drop have been needing to do for a while now. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this collection. Next up, we have one of the legendaries in the set, which is Chick over here. Now, if you guys don't know where this came from, basically this is series two of the April Fool's collection. And in series one, we had a character that basically evolves into this right here. And it was just an egg. <laughs> so this is actually a pretty cool one from series one. I thought this was hilarious. Now, in my opinion, I was actually expecting to have a baby Freddy inside the egg, but baby Freddy was actually the royalty pop in April Fool's series one. And this ends up being what is inside the egg in the end. So I'm kind of curious if they do April Fool's series three, what would be the next evolution of Chick? So here's the backside. You can actually see the card that you receive if you open up a pack and pull the legendary chick. Then you could get a token once redemption begins and then redeem it to get this physical pop, which is limited to 1,400 pieces. But once again, like every pop digital set, the sticker counts are not 100% accurate. And there's definitely different numbers that are sent out in physical form, depending on how many were ended up being pulled and redeemed in the end. And then we have our next legendary in this set, which is probably my personal favorite in this set, which is Burning Pack. Now, a lot of people are saying Funko and Drop are just making fun of themselves with this one, basically making fun of when sets don't sell out and they end up burning the packs instead. Now, basically, if you do open up your packs, you're still burning them. So just keep that in mind. This isn't really them making fun of themselves. It might be, but when you do rip open a pack, it's actually you burning the pack as well. So this is basically essentially that because this set did sell out either way i love this pop being a fan of the pop digital collection from funko this is something that i needed for sure i think it's awesome it is hilarious here's the back side you can see the actual card but it is definitely a very fun and awesome pop and finally we have the grail piece in the collection limited to 999 pieces we have pop is it freddy this one is a very fun one now you can see he has a tiny head and a massive body, which I think was a great choice and it is just hilarious. So we have the backside, you can see the card. So if you were to pull this grail card when you open up packs, you would receive a token when redemption began and you could redeem that token to receive the physical pop later in time. This is definitely a fun one. And before we actually take a closer look, I wanted to share a quick look at these pop protectors. So I personally am not a fan of these stacks. They crack very easily so i want to share something else a lot of people have already mentioned this in the past but there's this little circle in the bottom which could pretty much dent the bottom of your box it all depends how tightly it's pressed in there this one didn't look like it was too tight in there so it probably is okay you guys can see there's no dent or crease so that's good overall the box looks great which does make me happy to see now, honestly, I don't think I'm going to redeem any future pops in these pop stacks because, like I said, they're just not the greatest. I actually prefer uh, soft protectors from like seven bucks a pop or Pop Fiend or those other companies. I think those pop protectors are great. But overall, I'm glad these arrived in good condition for the most part. And now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the full set. Just in case if any of you are looking at any of these pieces to your collection, I do have a couple of extras of each piece in this set available for trade or sale. You could go to message me over on Instagram and we could probably work something out. All right, but check out this army of burning packs. How awesome is this? Once again, here's a look at the full set for the April Fool's Series 2 Pop Digital Collection. This set is awesome. It is really fun. We definitely got to get them all out of the boxes for a closer look. So let's go ahead and get to the magic in 3, 2, 1. And they're out. Here we have a close look at the full set out of their boxes. First up is the Legendary Chick. This is the evolution of the egg from Series 1. And it is an adorable Funko Pop. 
Then we have our legendary burning pack. This piece is an absolute must if you are a fan of the pop digital side of Funko, like myself. If you've been on this channel, you've already seen a ton of my pack openings, which is essentially burning a ton of packs, which is why I truly love this pop. And it is honestly a great design. Next, we have our royalty of the set, which is Balloon Proto. This must be my favorite pop they've done of Proto up to now. I absolutely love this design. The crown is balloons. The whole pop is like a balloon figure. Now, the only thing for me that kind of throws it off just a little bit is the head is more translucent than the body, the nose, and the ear. But other than that, I really do like this pop. Next, we have the grail of the collection, Pop Is It Freddy. This is a really fun and hilarious design. I definitely enjoy it a lot. And overall, this set is a really great one. I cannot wait to see what Series 3 for April Fools will have in store for us. Now, if you guys are curious what the actual redemption numbers are for this set, here it is. You guys will see the actual numbers on each of these figures. But overall, this set looks great. Let's go ahead and get those 360 spins. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for future content. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of the April Fool's Series 2 Pop Digital Physical Pops I shared in this video? Overall, I think this was a very fun set. I personally think Series 1 was definitely better overall as a set. Because that Baby Freddy, your royalty pop, was just incredible. But I really do like the burning pack from this set. And I definitely think this is probably going to be a yearly thing that they release. Probably April Fool's Series 3 will drop next year. And then 4 the year after and so on. But I think this is a great set. And I cannot wait to see what else Funko has in stores. I hope to see that Fun Day Sandwich in the future from the Series 2 card. I think that would be awesome. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this video. Truly appreciate your time, your support. Let me know what you guys like to see in the future from Funko and Drop as a future set. And also let me know what you guys like to see in the next videos. Thank you all for watching and peace.